What's up everybody? We're back in Wegg's garage with our 1964 Triumph TR4 project. We're just recovering from the days following an historic bomb cyclone. So what does that mean? Well, I'm no weatherman, but he is. Well, like Mark said, we had a historic winter storm here in April. Well, it did delay delivery some of our parts. another Wake's Garage UPS Delivery Delay Special. Stay tuned. So what we were hoping to get done today is get the radiator back in, and then get all the cooling system hooked back up. But unfortunately, our radiator uh, hoses and clamps and some other things we needed did not come in. So we're gonna still work on a little bit of the cooling system and a few other things. So this tube here runs around the side of the engine uh, and uh, it's where the water flows to the heater core and for some reason, the, uh, I don't know, like, if a previous owner did this or if it broke or what, but this bracket, we think, is supposed to be attached to this bolt, but it's like they cut it off here. So we're going to uh, re-weld a new piece of that bracket on so we can attach it there. bracket is all welded up turned out good we're just waiting for the paint to dry on that while we wait we're going to go ahead and get the radiator mounted in here uh, so we gotta get the bolts down there there's this rod here uh, that goes into there and there's a couple grommets here and there Classic British Victoria. Oh, those seats, because individually packaged washers. <clears throat> Top notch.
Okay, radiator's in place. It's bolted down. We weren't, there's two sets of holes down here. We weren't really sure which one uh, we are supposed to use, but I think it lined up better with the radiator shroud if we uh, used the uh, back set of holes there. So that's what we went with. So I think our heater pipe is ready to put in, so we'll be putting that in next. And I might start hooking up some of the wires to go to our electric fan here uh, and get all that ready as well. So I ran the wires to the electric fan here, uh, wrapped them all up, and that will just kind of tuck under that area. Our heater pipe is now uh, in place as well. The new bracket works pretty well. So one thing we can probably start getting in is putting the steering column back in. Uh, we're going to touch up the paint on the uh, wheel here in a little bit. It's kind of worn. So Dad's going to be working on that. And I'm going to put some paint on these horns so that they look a little bit nicer as well. Alright, so Dad's got a fresh coat of paint on this steering wheel hub. Looks pretty good. And uh, the horns cleaned up pretty nice, so I didn't end up painting those, but got them bolted down, wires run. So now we're going to go ahead and try and get the lower steering column installed. Do we need that? Onto the steering rack. Uh, you know, eventually we're gonna want that. All right, we'll put the steering wheel back in. <laughs> So we got our piece of the steering shaft in here. Uh, some of those bolts down there are pretty tricky to get to, but we got them in. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Then the uh, steering uh, steering wheel shaft just comes through this hole and links up in this coupler right here. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. We didn't get what we originally thought we were going to get done, but we did get this radiator in. That's looking really good. We got some wiring done and made some pretty good progress. So uh, next week, hopefully, we'll get those parts we needed and continue uh, with that part of the project. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.